It has been a strong quarter for risk assets, with market movements and investor flows indicating the high inflation story is not yet over. It sounds like we are playing on repeat as the US S&P 500 index drives markets higher, rising by 11.4% in sterling terms in Q1. This brings the one-year performance to 26.5%, well above expected returns for investors. There seems only one trade in town, that being companies riding the artificial intelligence wave, with most investors capturing exposure through this index. Whilst markets appear to get more attractive as they move higher, investors should be conscious of not having too much exposure to an asset class that may prove itself as overvalued. In fact, in the past week, the technology sector has undergone a correction, driving the wider market 4% lower. Elsewhere, the Eurostox 50 rose by 11.3% and the Japanese topics by 10.8%. While not as strong, the UK FTSE All Share rose 3.5%, which is still attractive on an annualised basis. UK gilts fell 1.8% and sterling corporate bonds provided a flat return, as the prospect for lower global interest rates has been delayed. The US continues to run a large fiscal deficit, spending more than it receives and adding to overall demand, with the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, expecting this to be over 7% next year, compared to a 2% average for other advanced economies. The IMF also mentioned China, Italy and the UK as countries that needed to take urgent policy action to address the imbalance and reduce financial risk. The US economy is therefore running hot, with rising business and consumer confidence such that inflation is again heading in the wrong direction. The price of oil has quietly increased by 15% year to date because of increased demand and geopolitical tension in the Middle East, and this of course feeds into the cost of many products. This could also be the driver behind the increase in the gold price during Q1, which rose 8.3%, as it's seen as a barometer for protecting real wealth. If inflation remains stubborn and perhaps even starts to rise again, real assets like commodities and stock markets remain attractive in such an environment, providing that a diversified approach is taken to mitigate risk.